between hyperinflation, bank failures, a crypto bull run. We are in the eye of the storm and history loves to repeat itself. I like to say, if you want to know what's going on today, just flip the pages back 100 years ago. 100 years ago, we was dealing with the Great Depression in 1929. In 1929, guess what the interest rates was that caused the stock market to collapse at 6%. Now, we are at 5.30, you know? <laughs> Recession is gonna come regardless. Depression is gonna come regardless in my take. Welcome to the Freedom Culture here at the Freedom Culture. I like to discuss current events in the financial sector, this new digital economy, and also breaking down blockchain technology in the most understandable terms possible. Now, the Fed has decided to pause on interest rates. So that way, I guess we'll have more time to prevent recession, but recession is going to come regardless. Depression is going to come regardless in my take, you know? So what that means is... They pause on interest rates to avoid recession. And all that does is increases inflation. We still got the inflation problem. So prices is going to be more expensive. You'll start seeing, start paying more and more for your daily goods and stuff like that. It's nothing stopping that. And eventually they'll start printing money. So with printing money and lower interest rates, you know, there's a lot of money in circulation, so it's like the value of the dollar will drop. You'll have more of a deflated dollar, you know, more money that's deflated, and the prices are higher. So it's going to take you more money to get that particular thing in several different ways. Now, it's insane, you know, but when it comes to um, when it comes to inflation, money tends to flow into the markets, into the stock market, into the cryptocurrency. So CBDCs is an option for them. My hypothesis is that they're going to stretch this out for a couple of more years. There's millionaires that came out of the Great Depression. They seen what was happening ahead of time. They wasn't just present. They was in the, in the future. And like I said, 100 years ago, like history loves to repeat itself. They'll wait until... I'm not, probably around 1929 then some type of catastrophe will happen and then they'll have to cut back on interest rates and start doing negative interest rates now they're doing all kinds of things to uh mitigate the damage now cbdc's is an option for them now with cbdc's that takes them out of the whole regular monetary uh policy you know so now they'll be able to change the interest rates or take money out of the system remotely. Like everything is going to be digital. You know, uh, if you if you're hoarding money, they're going to have an expiration date on your money. You know, it's so many different ways that they can. The CBDCs is a great invention for their problem. You know, however, it's not going to be a great invention for us. Yeah, you know, everything's going to be tracked. Uh, you'll have an expiration date on your money. Uh, it goes on and on and on. A jurisdiction, you're not going to be able to spend this dollar outside of a certain town. You know, it, it's just ridiculous. It's just not for me. It's a war on cash. There's several headlines out there talking about a lot of places aren't even taking cash anymore. Reverse ATMs now. ATMs that you put money in and it gives you a card. They're trying to end cash. You feel me? Take cash out of the picture in general. So pretty soon, they're going to make the dollar less appealing to even use. It's going to be all kinds of incentives with CBDCs. Uh, you get airdrops on CBDCs probably. You get more money. Uh, nobody turns down free money. When the stimulants came, came out, everybody jumped to it. Uh, that money went straight to the bank account and uh, everybody was happy so they're going to despite all of the negative things around cbdc's it's going to happen and people will accept it so they're going to use that to counteract their current dilemma that they don't know how to solve and like i mentioned in a lot of my videos the solution is cryptocurrency along with all the headlines and the news that's going on today Cryptocurrency is the proper asset class ready to blow. 
Because with cryptocurrency, that's completely out of the system. It's a completely different asset class. This is not the stock market. This is not, this is technology that's going to be needed. You know, this technology will be needed for all of the ISO 222 cryptocurrencies is set in place, ready to go for the right moment when they pretty much flip the switch. You know what I'm saying? When they flip the switch to, okay, it's going to be some type of uh, catastrophe that happens, some type of black swan event. We are pretty much in September 10th, you know, September 10th, right before September 11th. And then September 12th happened. September 10th is when everybody was just chilling and stuff like that. No problem. Everything seems good. September 11th is when the catastrophe happened. And that was the leading cause to everything changed after that. So everything is pretty much set in gear for a uh, economic meltdown or something crazy to happen. We, we got the bank failures and stuff going on right now. And something probably even bigger than that. And then that's when the solution would be, hey, everybody, UBI, Universal Basic Income, CBDCs. And that would be September 12th. That would be the new reality. Along with all the headlines and the news that's going on today, cryptocurrency is the proper asset class ready to blow. The sentiment from the big wigs right now is not negative. So the people that only listen to the guys that's that's in the soups and stuff like that, they're switching their whole energy when it comes or their whole outlook when it comes to cryptocurrency. So what I'm doing is I'm investing in these ISO 222 cryptocurrencies, which is XRP for cross border payments. Um, that's on a larger scale wholesale XLM also for cross border payments, but for peer to peer like me and you. Um, XTC for transactions uh, for like uh, the markets and stuff like that, trades and stuff like that. Um, Algo is just one of the best blockchains out there. It's a very sophisticated blockchain in my opinion. And uh, IOTA is just for transactions in between devices. I mean, we're making robots. Eventually, these robots are going to have to make transactions with each other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So there's millionaires that came out of the Great Depression. You know what I'm saying? In 1929, you got the Kennedys, the Rockefellers, and all that stuff. They seen what was happening ahead of time. They wasn't just present. They was in the in the future. You know? So once these things happened, they started buying the stuff that would be in demand. And they bought it for the low. And then once great, uh, the Great Depression hit, that's when they had all of the, the assets. And that's when the price appreciations uh, jumped up. They bought the, you got to buy the blood in the streets. You know, you got to buy when it's low, sell when it's high. But this is what I'm doing. I'm self-empowering myself. I'm taking power. I'm not waiting for somebody else to help me. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people don't know what the hell is going on. So you got to empower yourself and do what you know you can do to for for your future because nobody's going to look out for you in the future it's only one percent out of a hundred you know what i'm saying so definitely uh do something for yourself go ahead and research this information research this technology or just keep up with me on the freedom culture because i'm researching for you you know what i'm saying but that's all i'm say. i'm gonna wrap it up like this peace love respect get at me on the freedom culture this is what we do my goal is to free as many people as possible. Um, my goal is to get people informed about what's going on out here in this fourth industrial revolution. Uh, I want people to be in the know because they're not being told. And when you know better, you'll do better. You feel me? Because there's nobody out here to save you. The people that you cut on the TV and, and they talking, they're, they're not helping you out. You know what I'm saying? They want your demise. They want you to buy at the top so they can sell it on you. Keep up with me on the Freedom Culture. Like, comment, subscribe. I got my book on the way. I got the Discord on the way. We also have courses on the way that we'll, we will be able to deliver and we will be able to uh, present or educate or teach 
people about cryptocurrency in the most simple way and not make it sound all technical and technical garden it's, it's not that it's not that hard it's not that hard it really isn't you know but keep up with me on the freedom culture like comment subscribe click on the links let me know what's up man all right peace